It's Friday, June 19, 2020. You're looking at the entrance to the Fearman Pork Processing Plant on Harvester Road in Burlington. It's 10.17 a.m. You can see seven animal rights activists standing in the Fearman driveway. The strategy, carried out here and around the world at plants like this, is to block trucks carrying live pigs for about two minutes, giving the animals water from plastic bottles. Activists call this giving them comfort and love before the pigs are taken in for slaughter. A few seconds later, in the upper left side of the video, you'll see a transport truck carrying pigs pull to a stop in the middle lane of Harvester Road. Normally, trucks begin their turn into the plant before stopping in the driveway for the activists, but this truck is stopped just west of the entrance. Roughly two minutes later, just before 10.19 a.m., Four of the seven activists who have been blocking the Fearman driveway head to the truck with their water bottles. The transport truck driver is Andrew Blake of Brussels Transport. Shortly after the activists begin giving water to the pigs along one side of his truck, Blake dials 911. Here, you can see activist Reagan Russell standing in the driveway looking at Blake's truck. 911, do you require police, fire, or ambulance? Uh, please, please. Where is your emergency? Uh, what location? Corner of uh, South Service Road and Harvest Street. What's going on there? I've been surrounded by a uh, group of people. You're a truck driver for Fairman's? Uh, yep. Okay, we got a call from security. We'll be heading over shortly. Uh, so I'm in, in, like, I'm in danger. What do I do? Do they have weapons? I can't tell. There's, there's lots of them. Like, what should I do? Just stay in your truck with the doors locked. Don't move. We'll be there as soon as we can. All right. Thank you. During Blake's 37-second call, two of the three remaining activists in the Fearman driveway walked to the truck to join the others. Just after 10.21 a.m., Reagan Russell, the lone activist left in the driveway, heads to the sidewalk to let a truck carrying supplies pass. The protesters only stop trucks with live pigs. Just before 10.22 a.m., two things happened. Activist Russell walks back into the Fearman driveway and stops, raising her right hand above her head in a peace sign. At the same time, transport truck driver Blake puts his vehicle in gear, moves forward, and turns into the Fearman driveway. The front grille of Blake's truck strikes Russell. Her head hits the pavement, killing her instantly. Blake's truck, which police estimate was traveling at a speed of 20.5 kilometers per hour at point of impact, comes to arrest. A security guard calls 911. Ambulance with your We need the ambulance here immediately. Harvester at South Service Road. I'm the security on site. We just had a pig, uh, trailer tractor go over a pedestrian. Almer Wright's pedestrian was run over by a truck. This is a fatality. One of the activists also calls 911. Ambulance, what's your emergency? Hi, we're at South Service Road. And, um. Sorry. South uh, Service and. Chairman Cork. We need an ambulance. Is the person awake? She's dead. She's dead. She's dead? She got hit by a semi truck. She's under the truck. Okay, you said she's under the truck, like no one's checked her, though. She's under the truck, like, separated into two pieces. Oh, okay. In 2023, Andrew Blake pleaded guilty to careless driving causing death. He was fined $2,000, and for 12 months, his driving is restricted to his work hours. The Justice of the Peace, who accepted his plea in court, never heard Blake's 911 call to police, in which the dispatcher told him not to move. Russell's husband, Mark Powell, supported the star's use of this graphic video, saying he didn't want the truth buried by the system. Russell's family has launched two wrongful death lawsuits, which have not been tested in court.